The Civics Canada Student Budget Consultation is an opportunity for young people to share directly with elected officials what they would like to see included in the federal budget process. Now, whenever someone like the Minister of Finance constructs a budget, they consult with many people, including those from various political parties, in an effort to try and please as many people as possible. And oftentimes it can become easy to get caught up in the partisan echo chamber, so to speak, of each of the respective political parties. And that's where the role of nonpartisan observers and journalists come in, where they can offer a nonpartisan perspective on what's happening. They can kind of lay the groundwork and analyze the situation while letting the pundits do the commentary. So Civics decided to catch up with some of the key players in the media industry in this country to ask them what they believe will take center stage in the federal budget process. The host of Primetime Politics on CPAC, Michael Serapio, starts it off for us by explaining what's at stake for young people in the federal budget process. Hey, Wyatt. Uh, well, you asked about the upcoming federal budget and how it might apply to younger Canadians. Well, first, the fall economic statement really is the best indication of what we'll see in the federal budget. Not that the budget is limited by what we heard in November, but it does provide really in broad strokes what government priorities are at this point in their mandate. And really, it boils down to one word, affordability. Polls indicate and have indicated that affordability is a top issue for Canadians. And since Parliament's return in September, September, the Trudeau Liberals, well, they've been trying to show that they hear that and are responding. Now, for younger Canadians, high school students, university students, how the budget will apply to them directly is less clear. And in part, that's because education, primary, secondary, post-secondary, all of that falls under provincial jurisdiction, not Ottawa. But government promises on the federal level around affordability can still help students indirectly by helping out their families. For example, in giving tax rebates for groceries, this government uh, is hoping to redirect more money to families who are struggling to make ends meet. By directing money into housing accelerators on purpose-built rentals, including student housing, the government says it's hoping to create more housing options that won't be as expensive for Canadians. And by bringing in a national dental care program. Well, the government, along with the NDP that made a deal with the Liberals to make it happen, hope in the near future Canadians can get the dental care they need without having to go into debt to make that happen. So really, if families end up spending less because of those uh, programs, theoretically it frees up more money that can be spent on other priorities like university and college. So a lot to watch out for in the next federal budget. But you know, there are also some other questions to consider. Uh, for example, is it wise for the government to be spending the money that they are? Because to make it happen, the federal debt is being added on to, and that will be an issue for future generations to consider because it will be the taxes you pay down the road that will address that. Uh, in trying to take another example, to green the economy, is the government concerned enough with the Canadians who rely on the oil and gas industry to put food on the table? And really, it goes on. Bottom line, the government has its set of priorities, and really, most times, it does not line up with opposition priorities, and it will fall on all Canadians, young Canadians included, to decide what direction they actually want their governments to go into. So there you have it, Wyatt. I hope that helps you out. I'll talk to you soon. Well, that is CPAC's Michael Serapio detailing how the upcoming federal budget could impact young people. And no doubt issues like climate change, jobs and affordability will all play a pivotal role. The government is likely to be thinking about some of these issues as they are still undergoing some of the major consultations for the budget process. The CBC's Travis Danaraj takes a look at some of these key issues and how the government is likely consulting with various stakeholders, including young people, in order to address these issues effectively. Hey there, Wyatt. So uh, to answer your questions, and hello class, I think, you know, the budget is going to have a real impact on young people, depending on how much money is allocated and for exactly what. We're talking about job creation. If you're still in school, that's not an issue right now, but some uh, you know, older kids, teenagers have part-time jobs, so job creation is a big one. If uh, kids are saving for a home at some point, that is going to be a big uh, issue as well, and we'll see what comes out of that, and also just affordability in general and climate initiatives. Uh, so if the budget addresses these concerns, it could obviously positively influence 
Independence, uh, what is ahead for young people. Now, current political issues such as the post-pandemic recovery, climate change, we talked about social and uh, economic inequality, these are likely going to shape the budget as well. And politicians might emphasize policies on this to garner support from young people. And I also think that the importance of the budget here is really uh, really hinged and, and, and tied to the government's reputation moving forward. It will either showcase the uh, government's ability to manage finances and really address what the public needs right now, and we know that everybody in this country is talking about the affordability crisis, or it will you know, serve to uh, really uh, strengthen the opposition's argument that the government is not doing enough, which we have been hearing from them for a very long time. So it's all going to be very interesting. I hope that you guys are going to stay tuned for the budget. And Wyatt, hello from CBC. That'll do it for this video. Be sure to catch up on all the other Civics Canada videos relating to the student budget consultation. Thank you for participating and be sure to make your voice heard.